Hi, my name is Rhea Thomas and this is my story. So I'm originally from New Orleans, Louisiana, um, but following Hurricane Katrina, my family and I were displaced um, to Memphis, Tennessee, um, where we experienced uh, a brief moment of homelessness. We stayed in homeless shelters, we stayed in hotels, we spent nights in our, our car. Um, just trying to make it through. Growing up, I had to rely on uh, the kindness of strangers to give me school clothes, right? To give me clothes that I wore outside of school, um, sometimes even for food. My mom uh, was a single mother, so she worked very hard and very long hours um, to make sure that I had everything that I needed. So I spent a lot of time with my grandmother. She had a number of different health problems. And I think that's ultimately what led me into, into science, into figuring out the why behind pretty much everything that was going on at the time. Right after high school, I decided that I was going to go to college. And in May, right before graduation, I decided that I was gonna go to Agnes Scott College. Uh, which is in Decatur, Georgia. I decided to major in neuroscience sort of out of the blue. Um, I always enjoyed psychology um, and uh, psychological thrillers on TV and things of that nature, um, as well as biology, right? So I thought that this would be the perfect, um, neuroscience would be the perfect major to mix both of these interests I had. Initially in college, I had a tough time. I didn't feel as though I knew everything that I should, and I was unwilling to ask for help. So I was spending hours and hours and hours um, working, working really hard, but the work that I was putting in wasn't reflected in the grades that I was receiving. And so getting over um, myself, essentially, being able to ask for help, going to tutoring sessions, uh, working with professors and close friends that I made really made all the difference in the experience and changed my outlook completely. As a black woman in STEM, I often felt the pressure to be a representative for my entire race, for my entire um, gender, and that was unfair to myself. Um, Having Stacy Dutton, my mentor, uh, tell me that I could just be me and that all I'm representing is me and what's inside of my head was vital to uh, unlocking uh, my true potential. After college, I wasn't exactly sure what I wanted to do, so I decided to join AmeriCorps, which is a service-based organization. Um, and they had many, many, many positions all around the country. And I, for some reason, unknown, chose one in Cincinnati. AmeriCorps is a 12 month placement. So around my ninth or 10th month, I started looking into jobs or careers that I would be interested in. Um, and I thought that it was time that I came back to my science roots, as I like to call it. And then I found Gravity. Gravity Diagnostics is a clinical laboratory in Covington, Kentucky. We have a number of different testing types that we do here, including upper respiratory testing, that includes things like the flu, toxicology testing, which is your drug tests, COVID testing, and serology, which is our blood department. I am a molecular laboratory manager here at Gravity Diagnostics in our COVID department. Uh, where we do upwards of 15,000 samples a day. As a manager, I am responsible for overseeing each tech's training related to uh, laboratory processes and things of that nature. In order to become a molecular laboratory manager, I did need to achieve a bachelor's degree in a science-related field. So primarily right now, we're, I am responsible for the COVID department. So we receive up to 10 to 15,000 samples a day. And so we, we try to get those out same day. Lab techs are responsible responsible for sample processing, and that's pretty much it. As a molecular manager, I'm responsible for making sure samples come in and go out as quickly as possible. But in addition to that, inventory managing, trainings for the techs, and also uh, working with them to develop them uh, professionally. In the lab, we work with a number of different instruments, including your basic pipettes, which can cost upwards of $2,000, all the way up to quants, which is what we use uh, to run PCR. Um, those cost $150,000 for just one of them. The skills most important to my job, besides the basic laboratory skills that you can learn, are patience and the willingness to to say that, hey, I'm uncomfortable with this, I don't know, 
right? Because we can't uh, put patient samples in danger because of our pride, right? So being able to say, I don't know, X answer, uh, let me find out is, is really important. The most exciting part of my work experience is uh, the growth that I have achieved in the short amount of time that I've been here. I started as a lab tech and then became an isolation lead. And then following that, I became a manager, right? And so all within a year, I got to see myself grow in ways that I didn't think possible at first. What initially drew me to science were my experiences that I had with my grandmother. Um, spending time in hospitals, seeing uh, doctors work to uh, help her. But in addition to that, it was just a, a deep desire to understand why. Working in the sciences has given me a number of opportunities that I otherwise wouldn't have had, including managing a team, right? Getting that managerial experience, being able to travel and present my research, and even impacting a global pandemic. As a black woman in science, I sometimes feel an immense pressure to be perfect um, and the off chance that someone who looks like me um, may not get an opportunity if I fail. Another challenge I face is sometimes I'm the only one who looks like me. But by being in a professional work environment, I have learned that there are people who accept me for me. There are individuals who respect me um, and see me as just me. If I could speak to 14 year old me, I would say you're right. All I need to do um, is hold on and that there are places and people for me. I just have to find them. Thank you so much for listening to my story. If you have any questions about me or my career, reach out to your teacher.